Yeah. Hello. Hello, Winnipeg. Nice to be here. Yeah. Big TV taping. Taping. Hope this goes well. <laughs> Have you ever had this happen to you? Did you ever be in like a big group conversation and you kind of get bored, so you kind of zone out for a minute, and then you click back in and it's too late, you have no idea what the hell anybody's talking about? It's too late, you can never catch up? I feel like that happened to me with all of my friends and gender. I mean, I feel like we were all talking about Black Panther, and I checked out for a second, and I checked back in, and my friends were like, this is stupid, everybody knows there's only two genders. And I'm like, what the hell are we talking about? What? Did I miss a class or something? Why are we all talking about gender all of a sudden? Also, why do we all know there's only two? I don't know that. What, did we take a class that I didn't go to? Like, when I was a kid, they told me there was only two, but I haven't thought about it for a second since then. Do you mean? So now when someone tells me there's more than two, it's like, okay. It's like when they told me Pluto wasn't a planet anymore. Like, all right, I only thought it was because you told me. Right? <laughs> I didn't do the research myself. Just sort it out and let me know. I don't care. I don't care. Do you mean? <laughs> I don't know anything about gender, man. If I'm honest with you, two doesn't sound like very many. That's not a very big number at all. There's like 15 Fast and the Furious movies. Okay? <laughs> Could be more than two genders. There's 300,000 types of beetles. Come on, let's get to this. Two just seems silly. The argument for two is silly to me. Because the argument for two is always like, there's only two penis and vagina. And they go, I guess, but like, some people have both and some people have none. So, like, right out of the gate, that seems like at least four. Do you mean? I don't know. It's insane, man. People don't know what they're fired up about. Who cares about gender? Who cares if they change gender? It's not like they're changing the rules to the NHL. I don't care. You know what I mean? Just. I what I'm saying, burn it down, start over, who cares? Start over with gender. Do you mean let men have vaginas, let women have penises, who cares? More women should have penises. I bet you guys would really teach us how to class up a dick pic. <laughs> Elevated to some sort of phallic photography, you know what I mean? Make it classy. <laughs> I like the idea of women with penises. I like women with penises just because it gets dudes so angry. Dudes are furious at that idea. Just, just women don't have penises. You got a penis, you're a man. Woman doesn't have a penis, that's a man. You got a penis, you're a man, you're not a woman. And you go, all right, man, but what are you so angry about? Holy Lord, what is the fear driving that? I mean, what are you scared of? Just because a woman has a penis doesn't mean you have to touch it. I mean, just... <laughs> doesn't affect your life at all. Just live out the rest of your days as a good old-fashioned vagina guy. Nobody cares, it doesn't matter. I mean... No woman with a penis is gonna make you have sex with her. And if she tries, just sit her down and talk to her nicely. Be like, listen, I know what you're going through. I got a penis too, that thing's a nightmare. Just <laughs> makes you act irrationally, I get it, but this is not gonna happen, all right? So let's just go home, rub one out, we'll start fresh. I don't get it. I don't get that everybody gets so f worked up about it. People, like, people hate transgender people. That's always so, like, why? That's such an odd feeling to me. Like, that doesn't affect your life at all. I just don't understand how you can be that worked up about it. It doesn't change anything about your life. Uh, you, I gotta call him a she. Make me call him a she. I feel stupid calling him a she. It's clearly a man. I feel stupid. Like, really? Come on. You don't feel stupid calling Snoop Dogg Snoop Dogg? Get out of here. <laughs> You called him Snoop Doggy Dog for a while, you asshole. <laughs> Feel stupid. Every argument is dumb to me. Every argument just kills me. It's like, like that bathroom argument, remember that in the States? We're trying to make laws about where transgender people can use the bathroom? What a, a bunch of grown-ups sitting in a room arguing about where we can take a poopsie? What are we doing? That is, that's pathetic. And it kills me, it kills me the worst when it's people my age, do you know what I mean? People are still kind of young, still hate transgender people. And not even just hate, but just like, you know, do whatever you want, just stay away from me. You get that attitude a lot, which is weird, because like we watched the same thing happen to our grandparents and gay people. You know what I mean? It's the same thing. You watch them not accept them fully, watched our great-grandparents not accept black people fully, watched our great-great-grandparents not accept whoever they were mad at at the time, I don't know. Probably still black, if I'm honest with you. Uh, <laughs> It's just silly, because you just, you know you're gonna end up being that dude. You're gonna be the old dude, saying awful things, embarrassing everybody, ruining Christmas dinner, you know what I mean? You're just sitting at the end of the table, can you ask her to pass the potatoes? And your family's like, oh God, Grandpa, we told you it's they, it's they. And you're like, well, can you ask her to pass they potatoes then? Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, you guys have been a lot of fun. Thank you guys very much. Have a good night, everybody.